last video I showed you how to add a single light box to your course to make your screen interactive. In this video, let's take a look at a screen when you want to add more than one light box to explain certain stuff on your screen. So here I have this course on uh, writing objectives and on this particular screen, I'm talking about components of objectives. So I have some small explanation here in the form of on-screen text and what I'm doing is I'm showing the components of objectives by an example here which is an example objective and I'm, I'm indicating that which part of the object uh, objective is criteria, which of it is performance and which of it is indicating a condition for the objective. Now it's, uh, it, it becomes really easy to understand it with example. But what if I do not understand what criteria exactly stands for or what performance exactly means? To put it in the same screen, it will be really cluttered. But what if I have this as a clickable option and as soon as the learner clicks this, they get a small popover window which explains the meaning of criteria and then when they click on performance, they get a, a related light box and for condition also. So here I need to add three light boxes to add some explanation related to these components of objectives. So let's start making this screen as an interactive screen. The first thing I need to add here is to add a mask so that when the learner is uh, reading the stuff on popover window, they are not distracted by what is written on the on-screen text and they can concentrate on what's inside the pop-up. So I'll just go to smart shape and I will add a mask and I will create a mask of the size of this chalkboard. We need to change the properties of uh, the smart shape to make it look like a mask. So what we'll do is we will change the fill option to say an 80% and change the fill color to black. Okay, so that it covers the blackboard completely and we will remove the stroke because we do not need it. So the best way to remove the stroke is change the width to zero and it will disappear. Okay, we will name this as mask CR because this is the mask for criteria. Okay, after that we need to add a pop-up uh, area for criteria and I want it to look and feel the same way as this criteria button. So the best way to do it is to uh, copy this particular um, object which is a smart shape and increase its size, add the text. So we'll do that by going to the timeline and selecting CR button okay which is this button and I will copy it and I'll paste it again okay so I have this button here and I'll move it a little out of the way so that it looks a little better okay I'm moving it here and just reducing the size a bit and now I need to add some text here so what I'll do is I will copy the text from here and the text is criteria Okay, and I go back, I select this text and paste it here. Now I need to uh, reduce its size to say an 18 points. Okay, and I'll add some space here and make this text left aligned. So I'll go a little down and make it left aligned. Now the next thing I need to add here is a close button. So I'll go to smart shape, select a rectangle, put it here and after that, I need to fill it with an image. So I'll go to texture and unselect tile and then I will import the exit button. So I've imported the exit button and it's right here. Okay, we need to name this as uh, close and the name is CR. Okay, and we will name this, uh, use this as a button and we need to aim this as well so this is text cr so all three objects are added one is mask and uh, the other two are the text and the close button okay for the close button we need to change the stroke to zero and we are done now the next thing i will do here is i will mask uh, i will group mask text and the close button and keep it as name it as criteria so that when we have to uh, you know 
show or hide this particular group, I can easily identify that this is the group. I will have to uncheck visible and output button so that it's not visible all the time. Okay, so we are done with this and now we need to create two more such light boxes for performance and conditions. Let's quickly do that. I'll just copy the mask here and paste it again and position it. We will name this as mask uh, PR because this is mask for performance. And then uh, I will go and select the PR button here, copy it and paste it back. So we have the button here and I will just lock the mask so that it doesn't accidentally. So I will just move this a bit here and just below the performance so that we can see it clearly. And again, I will go and uh, select the text here and paste it here. Control A, change the font size to 18. So we'll consistently do whatever we did uh, for the criteria uh, pop-up text. And this I need to make it left aligned. And I need to copy the close button and paste it here. So I will choose this button, bring it here and name it as close PR. So this pop-up is also ready. And we need to quickly name this as text PR. Okay, and now I will select all three these three objects and group them. So I will press Control G, and this becomes my second group. I will name this as performance, and I will uncheck visible and output. Okay, so this is ready. And now I need to again uh, copy the mask. So I will make last copy here for uh, for the third one. I will paste it here. And let me just hide performance and criteria so that we get a better picture of where to position uh, condition button. So I will just uh, uh, copy condition button and paste it again. Let me lock the mask. So that it doesn't intervene when I'm resizing this and positioning it just above condition. Okay, so now again, uh, last time we have to select this text, paste it here, control A, change it to 18 points. Okay, change it to 18 points and then give a space after condition. Just make it a little bigger and now we need to left align this text I'm left aligning it and this is ready the last thing we need to add here is the close button so I'm copying this and pasting it here so that it appears on top of the condition button okay so this will be close CO okay this is done and uh, the last thing we need to do here is to group these three objects so we will group the mask uh, the text and the close button and I will press Control G and name this as condition okay this is done and I will uncheck visible for this particular option and all uh, three uh, pop-up boxes are ready now Okay. Now we need to add some advanced action uh, to this project and then we will associate it with these buttons and the close buttons inside the light boxes. I will go to project advanced action and here I will start writing the advanced action. So the first will be uh, show CR which is criteria and I will say show criteria. Easy and I save it okay mm -hmm. next I need to add a script which is hide criteria and I will say hide and criteria so two actions are ready we need to create four more I will quickly create it I will name this as show PR and here again I will select show and here we will select performance and save it we need to hide performance now so hide performance 
and select hide here and here we will select performance save it okay add another this is show uh, condition so i will select show here and condition here okay and the last advanced action now which is hide condition okay and we will write an action here which is hide condition okay the actions are ready and you can see them as a part of existing actions okay i'm closing this out and now we need to convert this smart shape these three smart shapes as buttons and associate the advanced action to it okay so i will select this smart shape and select uh, use as button this will allow me to uh, add a success action here so i will select execute advanced action and show cr okay because this is uh, criteria then i will select performance and use as button again i will say execute advanced action and show pr then i will go to condition say use as button and execute advanced action show co okay mm -hmm. then i will uh, unhide the criteria pop-up select the close button for criteria and as assign the advanced action of hide cr let me hide this back and get performance uh, select the close button execute advanced action and this would be hide pr okay let's close this back and get the condition button uh, the close button is here execute advanced action and hide condition so now we have created uh, these actions and assigned it. Let's see if uh, it is working as intended. So I will press F4 to get a preview of this course. So here we have the first screen. I'm clicking begin. And now when I go and click on criteria, I get a pop-up box which explains what criteria is all about. I click the close button. I go to condition. I get to read what's what it stands for. Close it and go to performance. Get to read it. Close it. So you can do this as many times as you want. So you have all the uh, related information in context to the screen. And uh, it's all a part of the same screen without making it look cluttered and with a lot of text. I hope you like this interaction and you'll be using that in your e-learning courses.